Welcome to our Zoom meet and greet for Culture Collision. I be Mojo, everybody, and I have the gracious, the beautiful, the multi-dimensional, multi-talented, multi-to-the-sun-dies. Jarrell Hamilton with um, a couple of different things. I feel like I don't even have to talk about the different things that you're doing because I want, this is about you all. Um, one of the things that I definitely wanted to do joining um, the j team and reintroducing, and as uh, Nova put it this week, this rebirth of culture mm -hmm. collision, um, I, I definitely wanted to rebirth um, the organizations because definitely I've never personally participated in Culture Collision, but I chose to work on um, Culture Collision because I'm just in a space of collaboration and I want to meet people in this, um, this other way. So I, I'm, I'm so glad to be a part of this. And I felt like the way to start the social media would definitely, it would be perfect for us to talk about all these great people that come yeah. together in one room and they figure out these ways to collaborate in real time. And mm -hmm. I mean, people are emailing me like, hey, who are the educators in the room? Hey, mm -hmm. who are the teachers in the room? Who, who are the artists yeah. in the room? Like, that's the spark that everyone is looking for. And for that energy to be in the same room, yeah. I think it's going to be dynamic. So without yeah. further ado, I'm going to introduce Jarrell Hamilton. And Jarrell, I just want you to tell us about yourself and the projects that you're working on. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Mojo, for this platform and this, this opportunity to just share what it is that I love to do, what I'm passionate about. Uh, again, my name is Jarrell Hamilton. I am the founder of T Bean Productions, and it is our mission to support, present, and produce original interdisciplinary works and cultural programming that speaks to Southern culture, speaks of, addresses, and talks about African American, African diasporic stories, and also uh, contemporary social themes. And right now, uh, what's a part of our program, our current programming consists of the Spark Grant Initiative, which is to support Southern artists um, in their artistic endeavors with a thousand dollar grant. We Ooh. also have our, yeah, I feel money, really money. good about that. I, I feel, and this is going to be our fourth annual. I feel really good about that. And that kind of came wow, about. Wow, fourth? That's like a, yeah, this will be our fourth annual. Yeah, this year will be our fourth annual. I know it's kind of like, it's sort of been underground, but it, we've been doing it <laughs> for four years now. And I'm, I just feel really excited about that because, um, when I came back home from school and, and from New York, you know, there was just a lot of conversations that was happening around, oh, we need money, we need money, we need money. And it just kept being conversations. And it was just like, you know what? I'm going to put my money where the mouth is. I'm going to put my, my mouth where the money is, however the, the phrase goes. And I was just like, I'm just going to form something. Because you know what? It's one thing to talk about it and conversations are important. But, you know, you, you got to, what's that action step, right? So the call to yeah. action for me as an artist was to just create something in, Maybe it wasn't like uh, 10,000 or 50 grand yet, right? But I think small, you know, small portions can be impactful too. It's not quantity as much as it is quality. So that's what the smart, smart grant is all about. And then we have our youth mental health initiative, uh, which we're about to go into our second year of programming, which is basically to combat the whole thing with like post-Katrina, pandemic, uh, and just mental health crises that's in our community right now. And I have my own personal uh, family history with, um, with mental health. And so we just felt the need to just bring that to the forefront. We also know that there's a stigma in the African American community as it relates to, you know, seeing a therapist and we don't and need no therapy. We don't need no therapy therapy and then also having access to it. And so when you really think about it, you know, most people have a doctor, most people have a dentist for hygiene, right? So what about, you know, this is all about mental hygiene, right? So you need a mental hygienist as well. So, yeah. you know, this program is for, you know, is for our youth and 
wellness, their mental wellness, how to manage their emotions, how to manage, you know, this, these pressures that we probably did, that we didn't have when we were coming up in school. So that is what the TB Youth Program is all about. It's about their mental wellness and just optimal health. And then we also have a uh, presentation. So right now, the production side of TB Productions is mostly just film. So the dance film that you all are going to be able to witness uh hopefully during cultural collision is a part of that and that's what we do here at tb productions my name is Gerald hamilton i'm a new orleans native born raised living loving my city and you know I i'm here to I, I feel like, you know, my life's mission is to really support and cultivate and nurture, you know, artists, uh, mother and our youth to just be the, their best, the, be the best version of themselves. I really just feel like a, a soul nurturer <laughs> and a creative altruist. Like that is my life's work. And so uh, I'm just really grateful for this opportunity to be able to share. Yeah. And to be honest, you're like a mother, like you said, you're a soul mother. So you're a mother to children, but you're also like a mother to like these dancers, you know, and the artist community, the dance community in the city of New Orleans. You know, you're just such a selfless, a selfless person. And to be honest, I didn't realize you were do you have been doing um, the grants for four years with Spark. Yeah, like, we have been doing the, yeah, we have been doing the grants for four years, but the organization itself has been alive since 2014, but it's, it's taken on just a couple of different identities. And when I say mm -hmm. identities, it's just evolved, right? Yeah. So before we even got to like where it is now, it started out with like benefit concerts. <laughs> we were having like benefit concerts for the Covenant House and then also folks in Haiti. And then after that, we did like a second line preservation project it was with Michelle Gibson. And then that was the bookshop, right? Actually, I went that to that. Was a, I mean, I yes, went to that. Was yeah. Yeah, and then it was like at one point it was like a dance academy, and I was like, "Oh no, no, I, no. <laughs> I said I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't think I'm ready for the whole dance academy thing." And then it evolved into like, "What do artists need?" Because it, it, artists needed something, right? And something just beyond too, just money, right? They needed to be nurtured. They needed time for themselves. So we started doing like self-care packets and then after the self-care it kind of once I did a survey it turned into what they needed was resources what they needed was money what they needed was platforms so you know that's kind of sort of a small just kind of synopsis of the evolution of TB production and TB if you're wondering about the name yes TB, I was gonna say who's TB it sounds TB, rather ancestral who's who's TB is, <laughs> TB Wait, yeah. is <laughs> Where he at? T Bean is actually was my dad's nickname growing up in the Seven Ward. He uh, grew up in the Seventh Ward and Hardhead. And <laughs> you know, T Bean, it's kind of it's twofold. I wanted to pay homage to my dad. Um, of course, this reoccurring theme of Southern culture here in, in the South, in New Orleans, everybody gets a nickname, right? And so in you know, embedding that into the the organization and then two t bean is it's a bean and out of a bean can grow a huge tree and so what we're doing in my organization in this organization is is planting seeds we're planting seeds we're sparking initiatives we're planting seeds for them to be able to grow into a fruit and bloom so that's T yeah. bean well much blessings and thank you because it's definitely a seed that's necessary but i love that health piece that um that you do from mental health to um to what do artists need and that is something that's definitely definitely needed and we don't need it just in one space or like one day here and there like it really is something that the infrastructure here needs to be involved in from um, when we go when we go to the doc when we go to the dentist when we go to physical therapy you know, we need to have like days when I was in the African circus in Branson, Missouri for a stint, yeah. we actually like on certain days of the week, you could go to physical therapy at a discounted price. Yeah. You know, if you needed to go to the chiropractor, we had rate, you know, artists that were artists who were performers, 
you know, we had discounted rates because they knew like, okay, well, they're performing, you know, Absolutely. they're also a lot of times, you know, they're getting paid weekly, they're getting paid cash. Like everybody has a different setup because it was such a global, a global setting in a very small town. Um, but all of everybody had different financial needs and strains. And so to just like relieve all of that, it's like one mm. thing we can give this community for our performer performers that are from here and for those that are traveling in is healthcare. Um, Absolutely. And so we Absolutely. definitely, I really want to see, I really want to see that spark like really grow in, um, yeah. in New Orleans. So thank you for doing that. Cause it's definitely something that I feel it. I see that yeah. it's gonna, it's just gonna branch out. Even if other people just get a whip of it and like, you know what, we gonna do yeah. something about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a part of that, you know, again, planting that seed, you know, somebody else may take it and just, you know, run with it because they have the capacity, you know, but as a part of that spark piece of just like support, you know, supporting artists financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, yeah. just, just in an array career wise, you know, so you. Yeah, so we can have a career. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. We deserve to have a career at home. And not and not only survive, you know, but really thrive in what we're doing, you know? That part. You reach a point in your artistry where it's just like, I don't just, I, I don't want to just be surviving, right? I want to literally be thriving. I want to have a full 1K. I want to take care of my family. I want to have all the savings of this and that, you know? And the conversations are important, but, you know, you, you, one foot in front of the other. One yes. foot in front of a little by little, you know, so. Yeah, so we look forward to um, to the film that you all are going to present. We look forward to meeting T-Bean at, um, yeah. at Culture Collision 22 this year, held at I Jefferson think. Parish Performing Arts Center. So Ivy Mojo, Jarrell Hamilton on the other line. Y'all have an amazing day. Peace. Ashe. Ashe.